We've got Grant Gallia here, he's a world record holder at 907. It's got a race today, we've got Harry Aiken to retake. He's got a personal best for the 100 metres of 1008. They're going to go head to head. On your marks! Set! Go! Well, Grant's got a cracking start, and Harry's well into his stride now! Get me close! I can't see the finish line, I can't quite see it! So, Husqvarna World Pole Climbing Championships. I never thought I'd say this, but Harry Aikens Aruti, British sprinter, just raced Grant Gallier. Now, listen, you went up the pole and your world record is 907. Yes. Harry's run a 1008. So, I thought on paper this was going to be a good race, but you absolutely flew up there, didn't you? I did, yeah. Happy with that? I was chuffed, yeah. It's good. So, you did a 990, yeah. which Mr. Usain Bolt would have struggled to beat. <laughs> yeah. But, Harry, you also ran well. 1015. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, end of September, end of season, didn't know what sort of shape I'd come into it. I know I knew that he was going to give me a good run for my money, had to get aggressive, <laughs> blew out the blocks and gave him my all, you know? Have you ever thought in your life, in your weirdest of dreams, one day I'm going to be running this way against a man running to the sky? You know what? I had a dream once. No, 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 you know, no. Never, never. You know what? This is what sport is about. I mean, in all sorts of forms and ways, you know, it's about bringing it to the people and, you know, the, the, the interest was, was, was amazing. I think these things need to happen more often, in all fairness. I mean, I'm, I'm on my break at the moment and when I've got the call, I was like, I've got to do it. Man. It's, yeah, I've got to. Would you know what I'd like to see? This big lump of a man I going upwards. So. <laughs> and you, and you, I'm not saying you missed a muscle, but you're, you're not as big as him, are you, going that way? So who would win that race then? If we had a rematch this time next year, or maybe in five minutes? Mm, I think I've got him, haven't I? Yeah. Would you have, would you have a go up the pole? I have a go up the pole, I might as well, I'm here now. I think I'll get a bit of peer pressure, so I might as well say yes now. But um, yeah, no, I think, um, I think I'll give it a good go. Yeah, yeah. I've got, the, got some... You've got the guns. Might, might as guns well, I mean, Harry, <laughs> good use. Grant. That was amazing. Yeah. Stay watching, because this is going to be even funnier. Do you know, I just went up there, it took me yeah. about a minute and a half, so there's, there's your target, all right? Mate. On your marks. Set. Go! Go on, Harry. Go on, Harry. Good stuff, mate. Remember, it's 200 metres, Grant. Go on, Harry. Come on, ladies and gents, encourage Harry. I've been out there myself, it's frightening out there. Grant's holding his chest, it could be a heart attack. Paramedic, paramedic. Go on, Harry. Halfway. Keep going, Harry. Little steps, mate, little steps. Come on, Harry. Come on, ladies and gents, encourage him. He's a big old unit getting up there. Keep going, Harry, nearly there. Go on, mate. Come on. You done? That is what's called a DNF, did not finish. I think you now, well, probably did anyway, but seeing earlier what these guys are doing and, and people like Grant getting up there in nine seconds, that's amazing, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's a different story, man. I mean, um, it's a sport in itself. I think, obviously, like a novice like myself, first attempt, it's tiring. But at the same time, I just, you got to applaud them, man. It's amazing, but it's kind of, it's like the opposite to running. Obviously, they're running up a tree, but at the same time, turning my feet outwards, small steps, not big steps. It's just like different worlds, but yeah, good fun. Nice to know that we cover it kind of similar at a similar time, sorry. Well, great effort, anyone. Everyone, Harry Aitkins, Arite. <laughs>